A box contains seven blue, five red, and eight white identical balls. If a ball is picked at random from the box, what is the probability that it is white? This is a multiple choice question, and so we will solve the question, and then after that we will pick the correct option. The box contains seven blue balls, five red balls, and eight white balls. The question wants us to find the probability that a ball selected at random from the box is white. The probability that a ball selected at random from the box is white is equal to the number of white balls in the box divided by the total number of balls in the box. The total number of balls in the box is equal to the number of blue balls which is 7 plus the number of red balls which is 5 plus the number of white balls which is 8. 7 plus 5 plus 8 will give us 20. The probability that a ball selected at random from the box is white is equal to the number of white balls which is 8 divided by the total number of balls in the box which is 20. 8 divided by 20 will give us 2 divided by 5. So the probability of selecting a white ball at random from the box is 2 divided by 5. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is C. The volume of a cone with base radius 6 cm is 132 cm cube. Calculate the height of the cone. Take pi as 22 divided by 7. This is a multiple choice question and so we will solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. The base radius of the cone is 6 cm and its volume is 132 cm cube. We are going to use this information to calculate the height of the cone. The volume of a cone is given by the formula 1 divided by 3 pi r squared h where r is the base radius of the cone and h is the height of the cone. Here we have the volume of the cone as 132 cm cube and we have the base radius as 6 cm cube. So we can substitute this information here to get the height which is h. The volume is 132 cm cube and it is equal to 1 divided by 3 times pi. Pi is 22 divided by 7, so times 22 divided by 7 times the radius squared. The radius is 6 centimeters, so we have 6 centimeters squared times the height h, which we are looking for. 6 centimeters squared will give us 36 centimeters squared. 1 divided by 3 times 22 divided by 7 times 36 centimeters squared will give us 37.714 cm squared. So we will have 132 cm cube is equal to 37.714 cm squared times the height h. To get the height, we will divide both sides by 37.714 cm squared. So I divide the left hand side by 37.714 cm squared and divide the right hand side also by 37.714 cm squared. So we have 37.714 cm squared cancelling 37.714 cm squared. 132 cm cube divided by 37.714 cm squared will give us 3.5 centimeters. So it means that the height of the cone, which is h, is equal to 3.5 centimeters. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is C. If m is to n is equal to 2 is to 1, evaluate 3m squared minus 2n squared divided by m squared plus mn. This is a multiple choice question and so we will solve the question 
and after that we will pick the correct option the question says that m is to n is equal to 2 is to 1 m is to n can be written as m divided by n and so in the same way 2 is to 1 can also be written as 2 divided by 1 if m divided by n is equal to 2 divided by 1 then it means that m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 1 m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 1 with this we can evaluate what we have here we have 3 m squared minus 2 n squared divided by m squared plus m n we have the values of m and n so we will substitute them into what we have here when we do that we are going to have 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 1 squared divided by 2 squared plus 2 times 1 so where we see m we will replace it with 2 and where we see n we will replace it with 1 this is going to give us 3 times 2 squared will give us 12 negative 2 times 1 squared will give us negative 2 divided by 2 squared will give us 4 and 2 times 1 will give us 2 and so we are going to have 12 minus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 and this will give us 5 divided by 3 so when we evaluate this we are going to have 5 divided by 3 when we look through the options we have we can see that the correct option is c the pie chart shows the program analysis of a television station the station telecasts six hours each day how many hours in a day does the station telecast documentary this is a multiple choice question and so we will solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option we know that the total angles around the point is 360 degrees the angle of sector for documentary is 75 degrees and the question says that the station telecasts six hours each day so all the programs if you add all their times together you are going to have six hours we are going to use this information to calculate the number of hours in the day that the station telecast documentary the number of hours dedicated to documentary will be equal to the angle of sector for documentary which is 75 degrees divided by the total angles in a circle which is 360 degrees times the number of hours dedicated to all the programs which is 6 hours 75 divided by 360 times 6 will give us 1.25 so it means that the number of hours dedicated for documentary is 1.25 hours 1.25 will give us one whole number one divided by four so it means that in a day the station telecast documentary for one whole number one divided by four hours when you look through the options given to us you can see that the correct option is c each interior angle of a regular polygon is 168 degrees. Find the number of sides of the polygon. This is a multiple choice question. And so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option. The question says that each interior angle of a regular polygon is 168 degrees. We are going to use this information to calculate the number of sides of the polygon each interior angle of a regular polygon is given by the formula n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n where n is the number of sides of the regular polygon 
Here, the question tells us that each interior angle is 168 degrees. So we can say that n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n is equal to 168 degrees. We can find the value of n from this equation and that will give us the number of sides of the polygon. I will multiply each side by n. So I multiply the left hand side by n and the right hand side by n to remove the fractions. So n and n will be gone. And so we will be left with n minus 2 times 180 degrees is equal to 168 degrees n. I will expand the bracket here. 180 degrees times n will give us 180 degrees n. 180 degrees times 2 will give us 360 degrees. So we have 180 degrees n minus 360 degrees is equal to 168 degrees n. Let's group like terms. When we do that, we are going to have 180 degrees n minus 168 degrees n is equal to 360 degrees. 180 degrees n minus 168 degrees n will give us 12 degrees n and this is equal to 360 degrees. To find n, I'll divide both sides by 12 degrees. So I'll divide the left hand side by 12 degrees and the right hand side by 12 degrees. So 12 degrees and 12 degrees will be gone. 360 degrees divided by 12 degrees will give us 30. So it means that n is equal to 30. In the formula, n is the number of sides of the polygon. So it means that the number of sides of this regular polygon is 30. When we look through the options given to us, we can see that the correct one is D.